I want to start this um, watercolour of Salisbury Cathedral from the river and I need to start with the drawing and as it is a particular place, Salisbury Cathedral, I am being ultra careful with my drawing. So I have a sketch here which um, I've already done and from this sketch I have photocopied it but what I'm going to do from here um, is take this sketch and do a small drawing as you can see here but very very carefully put in all the little bits that I can see so that I have a drawing that is more or less uh, what I need. This takes quite a lot of time so <coughs> the actual Salisbury Cathedral part uh, I should be very very careful of. The other parts as is putting the river in and the punt and other little bits I should be a little bit more free with, but the cathedral itself needs to be precisely drawn. So in this particular drawing, I have to be a bit precise, and as you can see, I've squared off my paper, and I've squared off my drawing, so that I've transposed the drawing to the paper. I'll come back to the drawing a bit later when I've finished it, and show you what I then do to paint. See you later. Hi. Um, having just finished the drawing, I'm sort of quite happy with it the way it is. The most important thing being that the actual cathedral uh, stands out quite well. The drawing looks pretty good there. Uh, I'm happy with that. As far as the trees and the surrounding water and everything else, I've put that in just to sketch it in, give me an idea of where it actually goes. And as far as the punts with the man in it, I'm still not too sure that uh, whether it's too big or not, it's too far forward. Um, but I'm reasonably happy with it as it is. So <coughs> the stage I'm at now, I want to just take away all the lines that you can see here. These are the construction lines I use from my sketch, my small sketch, to make it bigger, to enlarge it by copying the lines that are on here. You might not be able to see it actually on here, but um, I'm now going to take those lines off in the sky area, for example, I don't need them. Um, and actually on the side, as far as that's the width of my uh, painting going to be and I don't need any of those lines that are there. Um, all these lines I've taken out. So, in fact, I am left now with just the drawing. I don't have any, and I don't have any at all now lines that you can see. And the rubber, the type of rubber that I recommend you use on this, is this kind of rubber, which is what they call a, a kneadable or malleable rubber where you can actually pull a bit off and make it and suit it to suit yourself. So having done that, the next step is to start the painting. And I'll just show you how to do that next. Now that I've um, finished recording the details for my picture by copying the small drawing that I had, I am now going to put some masking fluid on those parts that I want to stay uh, and I'm starting here with the tower as I want that to stay reasonably light. And as you can see, I'm using this applicator and some what they call art masking fluid. And this 
it smells highly of ammonia. <laughs> and uh, it's a latex rubber basically that you paint over the surface of the areas you don't want the paint to go through. And this is a very good applicator for it. I'll come back after I've done this because this is obviously going to take some time and uh, show you the next stage. Well, here's the small picture I did from that drawing you saw earlier. And I've now started work on the bigger one. And I'll just come back here. And this is the bigger picture. This is a full imperial size that I'm working on. And um, I've now got to the stage where the sketching and most of the underpainting is in and now I'm just doing the detail so I think it'll kind of take me around about another week or so to do all the detail but um, this is a sort of <laughs> semi what can I call it uh, a semi process of how I've got so far so um, it's, it's looking okay. I'm uh, not too happy with this tree here on the right and the pathway needs more definition and I think the picture itself looks a bit empty so I may be looking at it like that. I think it actually requires somebody in it to give it some life. So yes. Yes, yeah, so I'll maybe put someone in round about here, I think, a figure, but I'll work on that and come back to it later. Anyway, I hope you like it so far, and uh, see how we get on for another week's time. OK, bye for now. Well, I've actually finished it, but whether or not um, I can um, still be satisfied or not, it's difficult to say. The problem is always, isn't it, for an artist, you, you tell yourself it's finished, and then you get a mm, little nagging doubts. Why didn't I put that in? Why didn't I leave that out? Why didn't I do this? Anyway. There it is, and it is quite a lot of work actually to do a large painting like this in watercolour, I must admit. But it was a challenge, and uh, I thought you might like to see it, and uh, well you have basically, that's how I go about it. I do hope you enjoyed this, goodbye for now, goodbye. <laughs>